Swing lunges are an incredible exercise. They work the obliques, that rotational core, um, also lower body, um, and they become very metabolic. So if you've ever seen a sandbag at your gym, this is an awesome way to take it for a spin. So um, with the sandbag, you'll need to hang on to the parallel handlebars, right? And I'll show you how to take this nice and slow. So it's going to be like a reverse lunge. So you're sending that leg back and twisting over the front leg, right? Boom, and take it nice and slow, just so you make sure you get the coordination correct. Um, again, the balance can feel a little unstable at first, um, but again, just really making sure that your knee is not caving in and that front leg, you're really twisting and keeping that back nice and upright, chest nice and proud as you twist over that front leg. Now, once you get a little bit of confidence going in this position, you can start to pick up the pace. And then when you're stepping back to that parallel position, right, that's when you really get a lot of nice momentum. So you can see I'm kind of creating an arc with the USB. It's going up and over to the side and I'm kind of catching it at my hip. My obliques, my side abs are what is stopping that bag from just like twisting my spine, right? Um, so that's where you really feel those obliques kind of coming into play. I just want you to see what it looks like from the side, right? I'm really going for that 90-90 in your traditional reverse lunge, like you should be aiming for always. Um, and then, you know, see what it looks like sped up from the side. So there's a lot of twisting happening in um, the upper body, in the torso, and in the core. And again, we're doing this with control, so it is safe, so that our abs are braced the entire time. I would exhale at the top, right? Inhale, exhale. Um, and then just set it down with honor. Um, so if you don't have a USB, an ultimate sandbag available, you can totally modify this with a dumbbell. Um, I would definitely recommend um, holding it by the head. You could do this with a kettlebell as well, but just again, remember if it swings and hits you in the knee, that's gonna hurt a lot more <laughs> than that sandbag. Uh, the sandbag is filled with um, duh, sand, and so it makes the movement very dynamic. But don't worry, you'll feel it as well with the dumbbell um, or the kettlebell. So try these today, guys, you're going to love them.